Hey family, I thought I'd come on for a minute and just share the few things I have came across today from gleaning from other brothers and sisters. Um, yeah, <laughs> I've got some more things I have to do this evening, but I'm going to keep digging, you know me. Um, and I want to say again, thank you so much for your prayers for Zuzu and April and uh, just for being so good to me. You guys are so awesome and I love every one of you. Um, so let's jump right into it for rapture confirmations and, and, and from gleaning from other believers. And I got a message today too. And I believe I got confirmation on it. So I'll show you that as well. And, uh, so here goes. I'm going to put the link to this channel in the description box. I already got it ready. Uh, a sister brand new to YouTube her channel name is all glory to God Jesus is coming and family she had a rapture dream and this video is only four days old and the rapture took place in the dream now she the first thing she seen was four moons the number four okay four moons and one of them was a blood moon. Okay. And listening to her description of it. And you know I've been a student of moon dreams for a while now through Manchild Ministries. And this is my take on that. I believe her blood moon that she's seen was our May 16 blood moon. And the other three moons was June, July, and August. And when she looked up uh, in on, on Google, she looked up on Google four moons. And the first thing that popped up was Galilean moons of Jupiter. And Jupiter's Jesus, right? And Galilean wedding, right? Um, the wedding... Um, so this is definitely most interesting and she said she also looked up uh, it might have been in Solarium I have to go back and listen but she looked up uh, when the procession that she seen of the moons were and she said that August 24th is when this lines up I'm not sure exactly. Is I guess there's a moon on August 24th that might be the fourth moon that she's seen. But she said it looked exactly like her dream. So I think that is pointing to the fourth month, right? August is our fourth month. The blood moon is what what she was shown first. So that was for May 16th. And then she said the rapture happened in the dream. So, family, this is most exciting, is it not? It kind of lines up with everything else we've been seeing and the confirmations that's been coming in. And uh, for our calendar and, and everything, and I still think Pentecost is in play. Maybe Manchild got the count wrong. Um, so we'll keep looking for that, right? And, um, get this. I looked up, her, her video was 5.33, 5 minutes, 33 seconds long. And I looked that number up, and in the Hebrew it means mighty. Mighty. And then I looked up the 289 for her views. A vine dresser, like a gardener, a vineyard keeper. And vineyard keepers are gardeners of grapes, new wine, right? Grape, grapes, <laughs> like for Pentecost and new wine. And you know, I asked the Lord, I said, Lord, when am I, I was doing some housework, um, 
and I was praying, and I said, Lord, show me something. Because um, I, I found a few other things today. But I, I was like, what am I, is there something I'm missing? It, um, will you show me more confirmation of, of where we're at? And, and um, when I sit down, this is what I came across, guys, was this sister's rapture dream. So, I don't. I do not believe this is a coincidence that uh, the 289 was there when I got to her video, and um, I couldn't believe. You know, of course, it's the moon dreams, and we're looking right um, at moon dreams. For we've been looking at moons and uh, for a long time. From God's calendar. So, okay, I'm going to go into this message. And it came in with the number four. <laughs> and it reads, up, big time confirmation on upper. So, I took this as another confirmation for the upper room confirmation about we're about to leave, the child's about to be born, the... The baby's about to be born, right? And then God's going to turn his attention back to Israel. Um, I didn't pull that one back up again. So if you're new, you're going to want to go um, back a video. Maybe two. <laughs> I know it's so hard when new people come on and to give you guys context. And... Um, but yeah, I got a I got a message about the Lord is getting ready to turn his attention back to Israel. And the church is getting ready to leave. Okay. Is is the gist of it. And um then I got more confirmation through one of our sisters um about the baby about to be born and that that confirmed it again and then this I believe is even confirming it again. And, um, the 1057 is balsam tree, which is also known as the weeping tree. And the 850 is funeral, dark. The 829, self-pleasing, arrogant, stubborn. 826, conjurer and witchcraft. So, this is judgment warnings and this is like the reasons why a most stubborn self-pleasing arrogant uh me 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 generation it's a dark world and they're about to be weeping and gnashing their teeth after the rapture right and the witchcraft i tell you what the witchcraft is off the chain with witchcraft ads and witchcraft um YouTube channels all over the place. People are just all about witchcraft. I told you guys that a neighbor of mine put up flyers to advertise for the witchcraft shop that she works in. I mean, every it's like everywhere you turn is witchcraft anymore. And it's up it's it's angering our Lord, right? I know he's slow to anger, but we're at the end now. And then the three two the three seven two means secession from labor, meaning like rest. And that could be interpreted as labor like having a baby, right? Um, so, and then the Greek at the bottom is to shine forth, discern, see clearly. So this is more confirmation of the baby about to be born family. Um, and then I've got even more on that. <laughs> Uh, and here was the confirmation for this message. End time headlines came in. A notifications about witchcraft. Yeah. So I took that as confirmation. And then of course the number four as well. We're leaving. The baby's about to be delivered. So that's like the third or fourth way that that message, that particular message has been confirmed. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. So, um, I was listening to Watchman Adam, and he was read, uh, playing a, a rapture dream about a girl who 
uh, a woman who said her daughter had a dream that she seen a blackout a earthquake and the rapture and she said it was in that order and I was commenting that I've been shown that we're pulled out before the blackout comes because of my rapture dream and Sarah Hoffman's vision because it was an answer to prayer about Sarah's vision and Sarah's seen a blackout happen and I'm telling you I believe the rapture is going to be what causes it okay and I was just commenting on that um, if you want more detail on that you're going to want to watch my video called making my case for the 2022 rapture part two it's got all the details on my rapture dream in it and Sarah Hoffman we are in her timeline right now Sarah's vision is proven prophetic she had it in 1979 and then she's seen the twin towers go down and we're living out the second part of it right now she's seen a pox and a hemorrhagic fever she's seen the economy in bad shape and she said that a, a couple of years leading up to this long dark winter of death from droughts plagues floods um, storms leads up to this long dark winter of death that where a full famine kicks in uh, the power goes out and um, 2022 is, or excuse me 2020 is when her second part of her vision manifested that was the two years leading up to the long winter of death I believe is coming this winter because the next thing was the pox and we are living in the pox the pox is happening right now that's another sign of it and um, uh, well, I go into a lot of great detail in that video part two making my case for the 2022 rapture and um, also if you're new I've been given 2022 confirmation through my cat <laughs> I know that sounds crazy but I was talking to the Lord praying to the Lord and I said Lord if um, I, well I had heard that the animals were acting funny the uh, believers were describing that their animals are more more joyful because I 100% believe all the animals are going with us but there were signs through the animals so uh, I have a feral cat that I caught and she um, I've had her about seven months now she isn't feral anymore but she was but she still has never jumped in my lap and let me pet her or anything like that I rescued her and it's been you know a progressive um, earning her trust situation and I I was talking to the Lord I said I know if that cat jumps up and cuddles with me that's a definite confirmation from my God and I said that we are leaving now this year 2022 and a few days later the kitty after two at two o'clock in the morning jumped up in my chair and cuddled with me and then that confirmation has since been reconfirmed several ways so the Lord's shown us that we're leaving in 2022 the Lord has shown me our timeline of when we're leaving through the dream he gave me is an answer to prayer about Sarah Hoffman and um, I do not believe we're going to be here for the blackout because he showed me the opposite of that we could see it coming we knew that, that all these things were coming but we were pulled out right before it in my dream and he also gave me a corn confirmation and a gasoline confirmation of like the timeline and we're in the middle of a wheat crisis and fuel problems that's, that's uh, destroying our supply chain plus corn and wheat is, is um, related to a harvest and Pentecost too so sorry to have to backtrack on you guys but um, if I don't give context then it confuses people <laughs> Uh, so anyway I was I was explaining this and then our sister Barbara Clark said yesterday she was fixing to get in the shower to get ready for church and the Holy Spirit said to her any day now so in that awesome family and then the fourth watch channel believes he got a 2022 confirmation through finding Nemo 
And I was telling him, I agree with it. I don't believe in coincidences. So you can go listen to his um, confirmation on his video called Finding Nemo, The Fourth Watch. Um, no coincidences, family, especially in these end times and with our God. So there's another 2022 confirmation. And here's some headlines. Uh, lakes are drying up all over the Middle East and beyond. That's the main one I just I wanted to report because that's a big one, right? The droughts, the floods, the plagues, the storms all leading up to the long winter of death. That's part of our Sarah Hoffman timeline, right? So I thought I would share that with you guys. And I found it interesting um, that he did a podcast, which, of course, I didn't watch. I only use this for the news. I don't agree with his um, teachings, so I do not recommend them. But I do uh, keep his app for the news articles. Scientists echo something the Bible has already warned us about, and I just found it interesting he used that word echo. <laughs> which is my cat <laughs> and the 2022 confirmation and then scientists fear monkeypox will spread to wild animals uh, it's just see what I mean that the monkeypox is big confirmation of where we are at in Sarah's timeline so I'm resharing anything and everything that comes across with monkeypox or our food crisis and it says a global food crisis is underway in the world as we know it may never be the same again. You reckon? Those seals are about to be opened. All the signs are pointing to it. We're done with this maybe, coulda, woulda, shoulda stuff. Or maybe that's the wrong. Um, this or this might happen or that might happen. No, it's coming. It will happen. We are getting ready to go home. The judgments of God are coming. And we got we to gotta stand on this family. We cannot um, do the maybe thing, right? The maybe thing, no. No more maybes. This is it. And family, I seen this last night. Signs of the Times new channel had 22 subs at the time and she said rapture dream it was in the summertime she was told summertime and I've, I've shared many summertime confirmations on this channel from myself and other believers and the Song of Solomon points to, to summer and a harvest right because the church is a harvest. And, you know, Lord, I can't even count all the ways summer has came across through the Lord's dreams and confirmations and um, scriptures, you know, too. And I had shared this last night, but I went back to investigate because I hadn't watched it yet. I just seen the 726. But I went back to watch it. Family, the 726 is there. And this brother was given this word, taco, or um, I know I'm pronouncing it wrong. Takuk, takuk. And this is what the definition is. You could go listen to it. Um, hold on. Centurions of Faith YouTube channel. You can um, screenshot it and then go back and find it. So, he had the rapture dream and he was given this word. And the definition, the act of bringing forth that which has been brought forth as in offspring. Like more about, about the baby about to be born. I mean, it's just more and more and more and more confirmations that we are about to be delivered into heaven. 
the man child about to be delivered. So, there's just no doubt, family. And our sister mustard seed and, and her baby, Elijah, you know, she was told, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the name of the Lord to go look to go look at that scripture. So her baby was even a sign. He's a miracle baby. They couldn't have ba a baby. The Lord gave her a miracle. And her baby is a sign. And her baby was born in August. And then she's got the 616 and it means the baby's about to be born. And then I confirmed her 616. The Lord used me to confirm her that the baby's about to be formed. And that reconfirmed my message that <laughs> the baby's about to be uh, born, the child is about to be born, and the entire upper room is about to be, you know, restored. And that's related to Pentecost, and that's where the church was born in the upper room. I'm telling you, family, we are so, so close. We might not get get it down to the day. But without a doubt, Scripture tells us we will know the season. Paul said, there's no need that I write to you. Because you'll know. You'll know. I don't, have to, I don't have to tell you. You're going to know. I just got chills <laughs> when I said that. And, but all, you know... Summer is a season, right? Summer is a season. If you look up the definitions for a season, which I should have done that, <laughs> so I could give you the specific definition. But it's a, you know, it can't be any more than a six-month period. Because I think Israel has summer and winter. They only have two seasons. And winter just don't add up. And... The judgments that Sarah seen pretty much kicked in in winter time, right? Okay, so let's see. Do I have anything else? Yes. Oh goodness, <laughs> I'm fumbling. Okay, waiting on Jesus shared a rapture dream, um, or a warning dream. Sorry, this morning I had a dream that a tornado of destruction was coming. I was in a house that had a flooded basement, so I had to go find another home with a basement. The next home, there were people outside hanging out. When I explained we needed to take shelter from the tornado coming, the owner of that house didn't take me serious and couldn't let us take shelter, and they weren't taking shelter either. We left there to run and find another house. At this point, a man whose name means crown stayed really close with me and followed me everywhere. He stayed the rest of the dream. The tornado never came very close to where I was, but we did hear the winds of destruction and knew many people perished, but I wasn't harmed. This to me is saying you can see it coming. But, you're, but we'll, be, we'll be taken out before it happens. You can see the destruction coming. And yes, people are going to perish. You know, the rapture in itself is a judgment too. That's going to be all kinds of destruction. A lot of people tend to forget that. The rapture is going to cause all kinds of destruction. And I just wouldn't even want to hear the cries of the mothers when their babies are, are taken. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be crazy. And um, they went on to say destruction is coming, but those who are in Christ will escape. Amen. Praise Jesus. So, yeah, that's what I read from that. We can see it coming, but we're going to be pulled out before before it begins. We already know that, right? And then Libya Marchetti 
said, Today the Holy Spirit spoke to her heart. He said, You know how thin a sheet of paper is? That's how close we are to the rapture. She said, I know I would never have thought of anything like this. And I believe her. That is how close we are, family. So thank you, Jesus. And this sister, Winter Carter, again, she did another video. Uh, I gave you confirmation on her last video when she said the Lord told her, we're leaving now. And then I um, seen 777 right off the bat, and then the numbers on her video confirmed exactly what she was saying uh, so the Lord used me to confirm her message. We're leaving now. And she said, the window of time for the bride of Christ is over. So I thought I would share her with you again because she did a new, you know, gave a new one. This is it, family. And this was from yesterday. From this channel, Beth Brinkman seen a 50 foot wave and that number 50 and then yesterday this sister from looking up channel got a 2022 confirmation too so I can't even count all the 2022 confirmations that's came in family and scripture says we will know the season and then there's been a lot of summer confirmations as well so family, don't get down, don't get out. We're getting we're getting gone. <laughs> believe that, believe that. And Zuzu seems to be doing okay. I'm still giving her the apple cider. Um I'm gonna and I'm adding it to all my babies um food. They did pretty good today. They all got their um chicken and broth with the uh unpasteurized I have to go look to give you the full name of it but yes it's a cure for urinary tracts for cats she's doing really really good and I'm gonna just um, add it to their food every day to as a prevention um, the Lord got this thank you Jesus it, it's not easy, though, when your babies are hurting. <laughs> you know, the first thing I do is freak out because it's been so traumatic for me, family. I've lost so many, and it scares the pants off of me. But um, you guys prayed me through it, and the Lord answered those prayers because he's so good and merciful. And and you guys are awesome family, and I'm, I'm so grateful to each and every one of you. So be encouraged today, family. These confirmations are pretty awesome, and I'll share that first, uh, the Moon Dream one, in the description box. Okay, and you can go listen to it. Maybe, um, man, child, if you come by here, you go listen to it because you're the expert on the Moon Dreams, and maybe you can find something that she's missing, and definitely I'm probably missing. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. God bless you. There's, I'll be back tomorrow. Um, I plan on, you know, keeping up the search, but I won't start again. I might find something this evening, but I, I don't really have the time to dig um, late at night like I usually do. i got to get up early tomorrow. So, all right. I'll talk to you all soon. I love you guys.